Hello and welcome to this. Us. Hello and welcome to this Zenshin Martial Arts video. My name is Sensei Jumoki and we have got our Lockdown Ninja class number 17 today, which is where we're working with around the world in 79 days to help promote, bring awareness to um, the mental and physical um, issues people have had during lockdown. So this is a charity trying to like, raise funds as well. So please go check them out, 79 Days of the UK, where you can lock in your miles, join the community and fundraise. You can also check us out at zenshin.co.uk, uh, where you can find out about our members site and all the things we have to offer. We're getting uh, close to the end of our 79 days here, and um, we have built up over the weeks and months now, and um, yeah, we have really progressed from where we first started. So I do, I mean, if you haven't seen the previous classes, do go and check them out, and we have a, a playlist on YouTube. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. So we're going to put our feet together, heels touching. Saves up. One knee goes down and the other. And we sit. Hands together. Mokso Hajime. So this is our time to meditate at the start of the class. So take a couple breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. So, young. Sensory. When you guys, she must. Ready. We're going to stand properly today, so we're going to take one leg up and bring it back. Ready. Us. So, we're going to spread our legs, hands behind our back, and we always start our class with our students' creed. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that will reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. Musubadaj. Ready. Us. Good, okay, and welcome. So, this is class 17. We're going to have some fun today. Hopefully, we learn some uh, new stuff, especially regarding our kata. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get warmed up first. So, let's go round with our arms first. We're going to make big circles. Ich, me, sa, shi, go. Roku, chi chi, ha chi, kya, ja, and this one more at the end. Ich, ni, sa, chi, go, roku, chi chi, ha chi, kya, ja. Now we're just gonna move our elbows around like this in circles. So that the elbows kind of stay where they are, the forearms are moving. Ich, ni, sa, chi, go. Let's try to go the opposite way. Each knee, sam, chi, go. Okay, now I want you to shake your wrists. Forward and back. Because we can call this chopping the vegetables. Good, and now we're going to shake them side to side. Good, okay, now I want you to lift one leg up. Because we've got no balance here. Then we put your arms out to the side. See, my foot is right up here. Good, now I want you to grab your knee. I want you to lift your knee up a little bit higher. See if you can get a little bit taller. Good, now I want you to grab your ankle. We're going to get your knees to touch. And then I want you to go forward. And lean forward as much as you can. Each knee, sun, she. Good, now I want you to get this knee. I want you to point it at me. See, I'm still holding 
them on the side. And I came down. Okay, let's try the other side. So first we just lifted it up, didn't we? Maybe arms to the side to help balance. Easy. Okay, let's put our uh, grab our knee and come up. We're going to be even taller now. Nice. Okay, now we're going to grab the ankle and we go, go knee to knee. And then we can go forward. This one's the hardest one so far. Good. And now we're going to get that knee. We're going to point it forward. Good. And back down to the middle and down. Shake it off. How do you do? That was quite hard, wasn't it? Let's go on to our toes. Want to balance. Now we're going to stick our heels up and go toes and heels and toes and heels. I should show you on the side and go toes and heels and toes and heels. Very hard on the heel. Toes. Heel. Okay, nice. Well done. Now I want you to just point your, your leg and go round in a circle with your ankle on each knee, side, she and go the other way, each knee, side, she and let's change sides and go in a circle, each knee, side, she and go the opposite way, each knee, side, she. Good. Okay, I'm going to raise you some push ups. So let's come down in our chest. So I want to work to your own level, whether you're doing them on your knees, like this, or your arms are to the side, or your arms are in the middle, and do whatever you can. We're going to go for 10 good ones, whatever you're going to do it. Okay, let's try. Each. Knee. Sam. She. Bo. Roku. Chi Chi. Hachi, Kyo, Kyo. Good, now rest. I'm going to sit back onto my, onto my uh, heels. From here, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to look behind you, you can put your arm back and twist and reach behind you. Try and really make your body long, your arm long, each knee, sun, chi. Go. Okay, let's come back. I'm going to shoot from the side now. I'm going to put my other arm back. I'm going to reach over. You can look at that hand. Each knee, side, she, go. Okay, I'm ready to do some sit ups now. So let's come sit down. Bend our legs. We're going to come down. So, what we're going to do, we're going to sit up and we're going to do two punches. I'm going to sit, sit up facing you. One, two. Notice how my arms cross. Twist, twist this way. So I don't want to punch this way. We're going to twist and cross. Okay, let's try. We've got ten of these. Let's go down. Get ready. Each. Punch, punch. And let's go down. Knee. Suck. She. Go. Ruku, she cheek, ha cheek, kia, kia. Good, and now I'm gonna, I want us just to relax on our elbows here. Just relax, okay. Working hard then. Let's put one foot onto, uh, onto our knee like this. And now from here, you can try and push that knee away from you. You open up your, your hips. So I'm still kind of relaxing. No, I could even lie down and do this. Oh, that's better. So I can see how I've got my foot on my other knee and I'm pushing my knee away. I should feel it in my hips. Each knee, side, she, go. Okay, I'm going to change. So the other foot. That was my knee. But that feels um, weird already. Then I'm going to push 
just a little bit to help me stretch up and open my hips, hips, knees, sun, she, go, good, okay. So we're going to sit up from here. I want you to put your hands behind your back. Like this. I've grabbed both hands and my wrist. So now from here, legs out in front. I want you to stand up with no hands. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Done. Good, so now in our position, we're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna come all the way down. You know what? We're gonna kick afterwards. We've got our Maigeri, our front kick. So we're gonna squat down and kick after every, after every round, after every rep. Okay, let's try. Itch. Kick. Good. Knee. Sap. She. Go. Ruku. Chi chi. Ha chi. Kyo. Kyo. Yame. That's a good job, okay. So now, we're gonna put, we put our left hand out in front. This is our tati shudobi. So the arm is just straight out in front. The hand is open. When I give you the count, we're gonna punch chakuzuki. So this is our first move that we practice, the punch on the spot. Get ready, itch. Good, make sure those fists are tight, nice and strong. Knee. Sun. She, go, rook, shit, hatch, here, here. Yame. Us. I feel like they're getting better over the weeks. So well done for keep trying. And yeah, that was our chakuzuki. That was the first technique that we learned. And it feels like so long ago. And then we've come a long way. Now this time we're going to do Jordan Zuki. So we've just punched for the tummy. I'm going to punch for head height now. Let's try. So we just did Chudan Chakuzuki. Now we're going to do Jordan Chakuzuki for the head. Show me already. We're going to go straight into it with your left hand. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Ruku, Chi Chi, Ha Chi, Kyo, Jyo, Yame. Us, okay, well done. So the next technique we're gonna practice here is our Gyakuzuki. So I'm gonna give you a little reminder. This is where we're in our fighting stance. Our legs are bent, we're nice and relaxed. Guard is up. And this back hand, not the, not the front hand, the back hand is going to twist and come back. And come back. Let me show you from the other side. So this would be my right hand at the moment. In my guard. And I go punch and back. Punch and back. See how my body twists into it. And it's not my head. We're going to try these. So I'm going to get close to you so I can hit you. You can try and hit me. But you're going to have to be faster than me. So we will use our left side and we will make our fighting stats. To show me already. Kumate! Good, so see this hand over here, this is the one that's gonna punch. We're gonna punch at the same time. I'm gonna come a bit closer. Perfect, get ready. Itch. Knee. So. She. Go. Ruku. Chi chi, ha chi, kyo, jyo. Nice, well done. I want you to change legs. So other arm and other legs in front. We're gonna use our left side now, and we're gonna punch. You're still trying to be faster than me. And notice how I move a little bit forward, and then I come back. And then move a little bit forward and come back. Okay, let's try. Itch, knee, suck, she, 
God Ruku She cheek Her cheek Chuck Chuck Us I thank you pardon Good job, that was a good set together And uh, I'm feeling warm now After those punches I would like to try another technique though, another punch we did. And again, we're going to be from our, our fighting stance with our guard up. And now, rather than using this, this back hand here, we're going to use our front hand and we're going to jab. So this one I'm going more for the face height. And I'm going up like this and snapping it out really fast. And see, I still twist my fist and come back here okay, so don't just uh, stick it out this way I need the twist to make it powerful if you can remember this is our Kazami Zuki which is our snap punch or jab okay let's try we've got 10 of these on each side show me already so we can get our left side um, forward in fighting stance good so this closest hand is going to punch to the head Let's try. Each knee sa she go ruku she chi ha chi kyo kyo. Nice change. That seemed fast. I felt good then. Let's have another go. Other hand. So this is your right hand. Get ready. Each knee sa. She go ruku she chi ha chi kyo jyo awesome. okay well done good job I think we could just have a quick stretch up and go up with our arms and be really really tall all the way by your ears Good, we're going to look up now at the hands and think about your shoulders like floating up all the way by your ears. Let's come onto our tiptoes. Each knee, so she, oh, and come down. Good, let's touch our toes. Just fold forward. Feeling good. Try and keep your legs straight. And if you're doing it properly, it really feels like I'm sticking my bum out behind me. But just I'm making sure I've got a flat back when I do it. Each knee, sun, she, go, roku, she, chi, ha, chi, kia, jia, nice. We can come back up. Good, we could put our hands on our hips. And let's go around in circles first. Each knee, san, chi, go, moate. Each knee, san, chi, go. Good, and good, we can go side to side, just bounce it. Each knee, san, chi. Well, how about we go forward and back? San, she, go. Oh, okay, nice. I think we can spread our legs a little bit. You don't have to go too far, but I do want you to have your legs straight, your big toe and your little toe, and all the other toes in between on the floor. They're facing forward, and we're just going to sit down the knees for a little bit. Each knee, San. She go ruku she chi ha chi kya jia. Now I'm gonna try and put my elbows on the floor. Can you do that? Do your best. Each ni san she go ruku she chi ha chi kya jia. Good. Now we're going to do a bit of a twist here. So one hand's going to stay on the floor. Then we're going to lift up the other hand 
twist and look up to the sky. And just breathe, try and relax. Good, and let's change it over to replace hands to the center. Good, nice. Let's jump our legs in. Good, and what we'll do actually, we put our legs back and we're going to come into a cobra position. So we start on our chest, we can uh, make our, come onto our toes, we push up. H, D, S, C, G, 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 Nice. Now we just come onto our heels, sit back and stretch those arms forward. And you can look forward in your hands. Good. And relax. Good job. Good. So I think we can stand up. Good, shake off our arms and legs. I think we need to go around with our, our neck here. So make circles nice and slow. Good, more to a change direction. Good, now I want you to look left and right. I'm going to go ear on the side. Good. And I want to do um, like a U shape, so we're looking from shoulder to shoulder. Nice. And we'll do, we're going to do the opposite on the way back. So rolling the back of my head. My neck on the top of my back here, from side to side. Nice, okay, good. Good, and relax, shake it off. Good job. So, we're going to um, go into in a step forward in Gita So, we're going to use our front stance, Zengut Snapchi, Gita lower sweep and block. So, I want you to get some space. Let me show you. Um, if you don't know how to do it, we can use our left side and block. But this is our set. So remember, we start all the way by our shoulder, slides down, and that's where it finishes. And see how the hand pulls back. Okay, give it a go. So I'm going to start. I usually come from the side, just so you can see uh, the shape of my body. You guys can use your left side first, and I'm going to use my left side. We're going to make the down the right. Each. Knee. So. We're going to step backwards now. So face the same way, move back. Each. Knee. Yame. How did you do? Did you find moving forward or backwards harder? I think most people tend to find moving back hard. Um, but what we need to really make sure is we keep our back up straight and we don't lean every time we move because that makes us slow. We're going to use uh, the rest of our body to help us step. Let's try another step. It's going to be even better now. Each knee suck stepping backwards. Each knee yame. Us. Okay, good job. That's our first block. 
the ones to practice today. Our next one is Oizuki. Our Oizuki is stepping forward and punching. So from our ready position, we can use our left hand first and punch. Awesome. Okay, that's, that's the technique. So it's like what we've already practiced punching on the spot, but this time with the technique, we're going to step. We can generate more uh, speed and power when we step forward with it. So we're going to have a go. Let's use our left arm again, and we're going to step and punch boys up here. Itch. Knee. Now we step in backwards. Itch. Knee. Yame. Good and bad boss. Notice after the last technique we do, uh, we move step forward three, and then we move back to one, two. Now when I finish, I step back here. This, um, could be simply because I want to move away from the bad guy rather than step into the bad guy. So um, that's, that's one way of thinking about it. I'm moving away from danger. And here my arms are out still because I'm ready, just in case. I don't want to um, get too casual too quickly like this. That's not very good to defend myself. If I'm here, I'm standing strong. My head is up, my arms are out. You know, you don't want to mess with me like that. So I want you guys to have a go at doing that as well. But when you start and when you finish um, this set, let's have a go. We're going to step and punch again. So show me your arms are ready. Like you need business. Itch. Knee. Suck. Step in back. Itch. Knee! Stepping back, yame! No subadach. Great! Us. Okay, well done. So we're going to just stick with these two techniques at the moment because we've been working them in our kata called Kion. And this is the first kata we have to learn at Zenshin and in order to get our first belt. So it's something that I'd like us to try and learn. We've gone up all the way to movement number eight, and that is roughly about a third of the kata. So I'd like us to review it and see if we could get a little bit further today. And uh, I do find it fun to learn. I know our beginners and um, our students do enjoy learning the kata. Not only is it like a physical challenge of the actual technique, but it's also a, a mental challenge trying to remember where you are, the next technique and how you have to turn. So it, it's a good way just to, to exercise um, all parts of your body. I would like to show you the first, the first 13 movements of the kata. If we can get to move 13 today, I'll be really happy. Uh, I'm going to face the same way as you. So maybe the all you know, this is just good revision for you. Kata Kyo. and I finish facing the other way 
because you may need to move in movement number 13. So for some of you that have been following every week, that's only five extra movements. Uh, yeah, that five extra movements. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard to add these extra movements on. If this is maybe your first time or, or whatever time that you don't um, fully know the kata, I would recommend going back and checking out the classes and we do go through them. Let's have a go for ourselves, we can do this. So show me you're ready. Let's say our kata first. Say, Kyo! Good, we look over our left shoulder. We're going to make Gidan right, our lower sweeping block. What? Good, now all of us are going to step and punch. Two. Good, now I want you to look over your shoulder, your right shoulder, towards your screen, then behind your shoulder, keep following around. We're going to move this front leg and right leg and turn all the way around. Morte! Change the stand, your right leg forward, we're now facing over here. Now we're going to set and punch. Go! Good, now look forward towards your screen. You're now going to make a Gidan Barai with your left arm and left leg. This is the block. Each. So that's movement number five. Movement number six, we're going to step and punch. Seven. Sorry, this is, yeah, this is number six. Now we're going to step forward and punch again. Seven. Next one, we're going to punch and this is number eight, we're going to key eye. Eight. Good, we're going to pause it there. So that was just a review. Hopefully those that have been following know what we're doing. Um, let's do it again and we are going to move to the, the next uh, te techniques after this. If you are a little bit stuck or confused, keep going. The legs and the turns don't matter so much if you're just doing this casually. Um, but if you want to get it perfect, you get yeah, pay attention, but just work your own level. Let's, let's try again. I'm going to come back. We know the first movement. We look. Gidan Barai. One. Step and punch. Two. Look over the shoulder. Front leg. We're going to turn. Three. Step and punch. Four. Good. Look forward. We're going to make Gidan Barai lower sweeping block. Five. We're going to step and punch. Six. quite far away from the camera so I'm going to come a little bit closer when we perform the real kata we don't stop we'll keep going but we're usually in a dojo with more space so we should all have your right leg forward and your right arm punching your left leg and your, uh, your, your head is going to turn over this way so in the first look left over my left shoulder and behind now I'm going to turn and block this way. Good, let's do that one more time. Right leg forward. So I don't want to turn that way. I want to turn that way. Got it? Now we're going to step and punch. Go! Good, and yabe. So it's a big turn um, that we can do after here. Look over our shoulder. It's really important that we use our head to help turn our body because um, it, it really helps it make move faster. So let's try that turn again from movement number eight. That's when we do the ki And then we're going to turn and do movement number nine. So we've got our right leg forward again. That leg is going that way. Morte! Nine. Now step and punch. Ten. Now just like at the start of the kata, do you remember that first turn? We're going to do that same turn. We're going to look over our right shoulder. So that's away from our screen now. We're going to look at the, our back wall. And we're going to use that front arm and leg. 
and turn. Now I'm going to step and punch. Go! And yell at me. Us. Okay, so we've got a couple of turns there, and that's always what is tricky. Um, as I said, if you're new to this, just have a go at moving in that direction. If you want to get it correct, really pay attention to the leg that moves in the direction that you're moving in. I think we should do it again. That's the only way we're going to get better. Okay, let's try. So we've got our right foot forward. We're doing the, the Kia. That's movement number eight. So we look both behind our left shoulder. We're going to turn the Gidamura. Morte. We're all facing over here now. Got it, now step and punch. Punch! Now we look over our right shoulder away from our screen. We're going to turn. The same hand that's punching is going to turn and block. Morte! Now we step and punch. Go! Good, now let's add in one more move. And we're going to look away from our screen to our back wall. And now we're going to use this front arm and leg, this step and punch, and make Gidam Barai. Just yummy. Good, and um, if you need to turn around, that's cool. So, yeah, it's a bit of a maze, isn't it? I, I would like you just to watch me again and just to understand where we are and um, what we're doing here. So, um, Again, use this as a review. I'm going to go from the very beginning. So, I look, block one, step and punch, two, over the right shoulder, three, step and punch, four, look forward, left arm and left leg, five, and block, six, seven, Eight. Yeah. So that's our key eye movement number eight. I'm going to move closer just so you can see. Now watch this movement number nine, back leg. Nine. Step. Ten. Look over the right shoulder, just like the first turn in the cutter. Eleven. Step. Twelve. Then I look away. And look at where I started, towards where I started this pattern, in that direction, and make a lower sweep and lock. Oz. It can um, seem like a lot, especially hard over um, being virtual, and I can't fix you and tell you to change stance. However, we'll do the best we can. And uh, that's okay, work to your level. So we're gonna do this one more time. If we can get to movement number 13, uh, I'll be super happy. That'd be a really good place to get to. And then to do the rest of the kata, basically is uh, pretty much easy. <laughs> let's, let's try it together. So focus, you're gonna copy me and move in exactly the same direction. Kyo! One, two, three, four, look, five, six, seven, eight, on your back, just sleep and see me. No! sticking at it. This is our first kata, our Kion kata, and uh, it's important that we that we know it. 
Uh, yeah, if you want to move move up in, in the levels, in the ranks. A lot of our karate and self-defense that we do is based on these katas. And it's a good way to pass down uh, knowledge from generation to generation through practicing the, the katas and understanding how they could be used. Um, I remember in one class, we um, actually showed how we could use this kata um, and the techniques in it. Um, and we had sensei and fear then, and we did a little, little performance. Um, so I would, either you've seen it, good job, or you could go back and check out a couple of classes ago when we, uh, we did that. Good. So I like us to now just sit down on the floor. We're going to spread our legs. So this is the, I call the pancake position. And I want you to have your legs straight and toes pointed up to the sky. Good, so what I want you to do now, I really want you to think about having a good posture. And let me show you from the side. I don't want us to bend over and think about getting our head to the floor. Actually, we're going to stick our chest out and feel like I'm pushing my bum back behind me. So my, my back is straight now. And this is going to give us a better stretch. Okay, good. And what you can do is you can use the arms behind you to help push you down. And you want to stick that chest out, keep the back straight. And I'm thinking about leading with my chin rather than with my head or my nose. So I'm going forward with it. Each knee. Side, nice, well done. Now keep that same posture. I want us to go out with our arms in front and reach as far forward as we can. Each knee, sand, she, go, ruku, shi, chi, ha, chi, kia, jia, good. Come back up. So now, maybe I should face you. I'm going to face you. Okay. Uh, this time, what we're going to do is we're going to put our arms right up by our ears. And again, I want you to keep that back up straight. So no bending the nose like this. I want you to reach the chest out and bring everything up. You should feel that right in your back. Keep the arms up. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, and bring it down. Nice, good job. I think we can uh, lean on to one side. We need to go over and touch the leg, you know, touch the toes. Good job, let's come back to the middle. We can go to the other side. Nice, okay, come back to the middle. Now, here we go. So we're gonna come onto our knees. So this is our Cezanne position, I'll show you from the side. And we come onto our hands. And you can go side to side, you can see I'm um, wriggling, moving from left to right. Just warming up the shoulder blades, getting more mobile. And I'm going to come down onto my elbows. And then you could move again, try and get your knees to touch the floor. Good night. So now we're going to drop our head back, if you can, and you're going to get your knees to touch the floor and lift your bum up into the sky. And you can bring your arms back behind you. Now don't forget to breathe. Try and relax into the stretch. And keep calm. Good night.
knives like that. I don't think we're going to own this guy. We need ourselves to get up. Good, well, good. So we can say in our says our position here. So we've got our toes crossed. Knees on the floor. If you're, a, if you're a girl, you can have your legs closed like this. And if you're a boy, your legs are open. We're going to put our arms, to, our hands together in the middle and close our eyes. Now I want you just to breathe through your nose in your own time. I want you just to notice how you feel, to relax yourself and we're going to get back into the, the normal world after this. So Moxo Hajime. Moxo Yame. Sensei, Domo Arigato Kazaimashita. Great. And stand. Great. Good job, well done. That was class number 17. Please go check out 79days.co.uk um, to join in with the community and help raise uh, money for charity. Also check out Zenshin.co.uk to see what we do uh, You may become a member as well. We're back again later on in the week with uh, another class and hopefully before the end we can build on and complete this kata. So well done um, for making it through today. Let me know how you got on and uh, keep practicing and uh, that's the only way we're going to get better. So yeah. Keep working hard. I look forward to seeing you next time in class. Plus, thank you.